All right, hey YouTube. We're gonna do a quick video here. I've had a Harbor Freight titanium plasma cutter for a while now. Um, this is my second one. The first one, there's nothing wrong with the machine. The machine worked per perfectly. In here, where your electrode slides into, it's spring-loaded, and my spring in there broke. So all I needed was unscrew this and get a new hose and gun assembly. Well, Harbor Freight, under their warranty, said, oh, you can't do that. We got to change the whole machine out. I'm like, wow, that's an expensive machine compared just to that. They did it under warranty. It comes with a six-month factory warranty, and... I was two weeks over, Harbor Freight replaced the whole machine. They said, we're not going to squabble. So I ended up getting the whole machine new. I did my flatbed project, and I only use, it has, uh, I got my glasses on, 110, 240. I used the lower setting for my flatbed. Down on the 110, it will cut up to... And quarter inch metal gets a little jagged, but it could be me too. I'm still learning this. I'm new to it, but uh, it will cut up to quarter. Well, I'm doing a project for a guy cutting out gun targets. We're using a uh, three eighths plate and this, I had to make two, three passes to do it. So what I did, and before anybody says, yes, you can run a welder. And a plasma cutter. I got my air compressor. They all run out to the power pole. I'm after the meter. I'm paying for electricity. I didn't do an illegal tap. You can run this stuff on extension cords. Don't go to Walmart and, oh, here's a $20 cord. No, you can't. But they do make, I mean, you could see, I mean, that's... That's stout. You can run this stuff on extension cords. You're gonna pay out the backside to get a heavy enough metal. Here I have no choice. I have no electricity in here. I use my generator, but that only goes up to 20 amps. Well, for 3 8 plate, I need 25 to 30 amps. So, we got this cord and let's do a quick cut and as you see i mean this is that's pretty thick metal uh here was my test cut because i wanted to make sure the cord and that was going to work a little jagged down here but let's not blame the machine because i bought it i did my flatbed on the ford with it i don't use it a whole lot i am still learning this so Thinner metal, I am getting better cuts on this 3 8 I don't know if that's an amp issue or, you know, I just moved too fast, too slow. I'm not sure. But let me turn that on and we'll do a quick cut here. Let me get my eye protection on. All right, we got a couple that didn't go all the way through. 
There it is. So I, uh, hey, if any of you guys are plasma cutters, I'll take any tips, hints, suggestions you guys got. But uh, I had a pair of pliers here so I can take you out into the light and give a better cut view. That's our cut right there. It's stuck and right there. But it did stick, or it did cut. All right, so that's where we're at. Uh, I'm still learning this, I gotta say. I do like this uh, titanium. Now the Lotus, I think was 550, but it comes from Japan. I'm not knocking anything Chinese, Japanese, Korean, or anything else made. The problem is, if you have problems with it, now your parts have to come from there. And they do have parts, but with this COVID and all that going on, you know, here I just run to the, down to Harbor Freight, I get another one. And I didn't mind trying the titanium because I have their Vulcan welder. I've had this for over a year now. And I think it's a beautiful welding machine. Does flux core, stainless, steel, different steel, uh, and it's, it can do aluminum. Has uh, three settings for the wire, and then of course your dials. And I've been using it for well over a year, and I think it's a beautiful welding machine. I've used the Vulcan wire. It ain't a bad wire. Uh, the Lincoln wire does do a touch better, but the Vulcan wire still gives you a nice clean weld in that. And I'm like, well, you know, the welders held up really good because I had a Lincoln that crapped out. So that's why I tried the Vulcan. And after using it for over a year, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try their plasma cutter. Are there cheaper ones online? Yes, there are. I'm not saying buy that one. I'm just saying, I'm using it. I'm cutting 3 8 plate with it. I think it's a really nice plasma cutter. And uh, like I said, I had an issue. They replaced the whole machine under warranty because I did have the two year extended, but they just transferred that over and started the two years over because it was only a week or so after my six months. So they said, no, we're not gonna do you like that. You're gonna get the whole two year. So that's where we're at. Just my my opinion. I really like the welder. I think this plasma cutter, it saved me a lot of grief. I don't have a torch. I use the plasma cutter to cut out all my stuff. Uh, would a torch be nice? Yeah, but I just don't have one. And for what, what I do need cut, this plasma does it. So that's what I use and Oh, that'll be it. I'm done rambling. Y'all have a good day.